Let's move on to Huntington Beach. They had three first-team all-league underclassmen, Tyler Moses, Hideo Ray, and Rylan Vibbard. They were all juniors last year. And then they have four returning players who were second-team all-Sunset League. Yeah, you know, Alex, I am so high on Hideo Ray oh my and gosh. Tyler Moses. Just from watching the game uh, against Newport Harbor last year, both of those guys quickly became two of my favorite players in the Sunset League. Tyler Moses was the MVP for Huntington Beach, did everything that his team needed, including being an excellent punter Yes. in addition to offense, yes. defense. So he's a stud. Hideo Ray, I love everything that Hideo Ray did last year. He was kind of a bailout guy for Huntington Beach when they needed a big play on offense or defense. He was the guy that they looked to. So they're returning some core pieces. But then you also mentioned the, um, the other uh, second team all league or the other returning guys that Coach Brown has a lot of faith in. EJ Redrick, senior Mike linebacker, tough as nails, very fast kid, big part of the defense. AJ Vandermade, another kid with great size. He was a sophomore last year, got a lot of good experience at safety and wide receiver, plays with a ton of confidence. Um, also leader of the offensive line, William Burke, and a young guy who was a sophomore last year that Coach is really excited about. He's going to be a junior inside linebacker, Nate Tawanu'u, Really excited to see him grow. Yeah, I really believe, I'm not just drinking the orange and black Kool-Aid, I really believe in what Coach Brett Brown is doing there at Huntington Beach. I know he's been there for a while. He's what? He's been there for 16 years at the helm for six. They had that 2013 CIF championship. But when we're looking at Sunset League teams rising and falling, and we're talking about that preseason schedule, because obviously there's only six Sunset League teams, so there's a, a pretty hefty preseason I look at Huntington Beach as a team that could surprise people this year. I know we're going to get into our full season prediction episode um, in a little bit or a few episodes away, but I really look at the Oilers as a team that's got talent on their roster. They definitely do, and another guy they're bringing back who's really going to help that consistency and, and their growth next year is A.J. Perez. He was a junior quarterback last year. He split reps with the senior, but Coach Brown is really excited about him and really confident that he's the guy going into the fall 2021. Yeah, I'm excited to see what the Huntington Beach Oilers do in the fall. 